Hey there. This is Biz414 with another Steam Bin. And today I'm playing Dust Force. It's a fun platforming game, 2D side scrolling platforming game, where uh, the main object is cleaning up dust. So you're one of these sweeping people that's cleaning up dust, and then there's all these bad, dirty folks making messes that we have to clean up. Let's go ahead and get started. I just got done playing through the tutorial, just to re-familiarize myself with the game. I've played before, but only briefly. Let's see if I can do this. This is a pretty big gap. You have to do uh, dash, dash jump, then double jump to get from here to that uh, landing over there. So let's see if I can accomplish that. Alright. And we've got... Uh, you can wall run, you can ceiling run to a certain degree. There's a standard attack, a uh, strong attack, and then if you do both of those together, there's a multi-hit attack, but uh, it only works when there's enemies around. You've got double jump. Um, yeah, that's about it as far as controls, running left and right. There's custom levels that folks can make, a level editor so you can make your own levels. What's this over here? Community map pack. Uh, the Nexus, which I believe is where you go for to actually play the game. Tome of Levels. Tome of Levels. What are these? Okay, it just tells you all the different levels for uh, each of the worlds. Alright. So what about this? Are you a Tome of Levels? Yeah. I assume that one is down there as well. Alright. Oh, and you've got a dash. I forgot about that. Alright, let's go to the Nexus. Press up to open doors. All right. Downhill. Whee. All right, so this looks like the only level I can go into right now is that one, maybe. Oh, no, there's another one up here I can go into. What's this? Dahlia. Shaded Grove. I'm just going to go ahead and do this one. Pick your folks. I'm gonna be the old man. With the vacuum cleaner. They all play the same. It's just, you know, matters. Uh, it's, it's just like aesthetics. You know, what you want to look like. And uh, you get a combo. You have a combo meter, which you um, fill up by cleaning dust or leaves is in your particular level. Oops, let's get some of those. No, let's get them. There we go. And once you hit combo level 100, you get this weird uh, double person glowing shadow effect thing going on. And uh, another thing is you also get points for uh, finesse. That was my uh, combo mode. And I uh, killed everything. So yeah, I got S class for finesse. So that's pretty good. S is better than A. So let's continue. And there's, you know, you're timed as well. Alright. Did I get any keys from that? I don't think I did. So I probably can't go in here. Nope. Let's go into this one then. Dahlia. I'm going to keep being the old man. Balls are apparently squirrels and woodland creatures that have been contaminated by dirt. And I am saving them by hitting them with my vacuum cleaner. Fun time. So I really, I really like this game. Uh, the controls are wonderful. Uh, the way it plays is super smooth. The uh, level designs are really cool so far. Um, I like that it's really chill, like the music is really relaxing, 
generally. Uh, it's not really a stressful game. And uh, it's, it's fun to just sit and relax and play it and not have to worry about fighting bad guys and saving princesses and stuff like that, you know? Uh, let's see. Here's another one that does not require a key. Let's try that one. Yes, the fields. Let's go. Cool. Let's dust, it says. So over here. Let's go back over this way. When you use that, it uh the your power attack, sometimes it'll spray some debris onto the ground or the wall or whatever that you can then clean up for bonus uh points. Like that right there. Bonus uh, combo meter funness. All right, I can slide down that one. Keep forgetting about my uh, dash move. Oh, there's a raccoon. You're welcome, Mr. Raccoon. There we go. Got my combo meter up. That was the multi-attack, hitting both attack buttons at the same time. You just basically hit all targets on screen. So I did really good on that level. We've got two S's. Continuing. Is there anything else over here that's opened? This looks like a different world. Let's go back here and finish some of these before I go on to the... Uh, cityscape area. Oh, those look like bad spikies. They are bad spikies. Can I get over that somehow? I don't know if I can. I don't know if it's possible to get through this. Uh, I'm try one more time. Nope. Not possible. Alright, let's go ahead and use one of our keys to unlock this. Can I? Can I use my key? Thought I had keys. No. Ooh. I think I might be able to get past this one. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, nope, I don't think I can. Have keys. Let's see what the controls say. That yeah, doesn't say that there's anything special that I'm supposed to use for use the use button. Maybe I must need copper keys. I have a silver key or something. Alright. It's really good music. Atrium. Let's try this. Yes, we will continue to be Mr. Old Man. Ooh, now it's uh, dust and these little gargoyle guys. Dust has animated these gargoyles apparently. Oops. And uh, just an FYI, you cannot use the uh, power move um, where you target multiple enemies unless your combo meter is full. But the, uh, the heavy attack you can use anytime, just the basic Y attack. So finesse, I got a C, because it took me a long time. There's a copper key, I can 
probably go back and open some of these other doors now. Like this one. Let's let's do this one just because it's right here. All right. Ceiling run. Ceiling wall. Slope. Oh, come on. And after you hit an enemy, you can uh, jump again, apparently. Ooh. All right, let's just slide through there. There you go. I saved you, Mr. Raccoon. Oh, poo. Jumpy. Oh no. Let's get back up here and get these leaves. I don't want to forget them. Alright, ceiling, floor. Oh. There we go. Ah. Oh. My aim was off on that guy. Terribly. Alright, I just don't want to die. No! There we go. This way again. I saved a bear and a wolf. At the end, you're welcome. Enjoy your nap. Good enough, B and C. I can always come back and replay these and get higher scores if I'm not satisfied. All right, I need another copper key before I can progress to uh, or unlock some of those other levels. So let's go up here and find another one of these to do. Let's do the alcoves. Dust. Oops. Oh, no. I went up there. How do I get up there? There we go. This way. Down. This is uh, this is a lot of fun. If you if I if you uh, if I were to practice, you know, and start to learn the levels, I'm sure that uh, this would be extremely fun to try and do speed runs on. Oops. Uh, and it's got a leaderboard, so it's pretty competitive, I think, for for folks who are doing that sort of thing. I can do that. I forgot about that. Oh, and that uses up your combo meter. I did not know that. Because I've only ever used it at the end. There we go. It's too bad I didn't get you in that last shot with everybody else. That probably would have pushed me up into the next uh, class of awardses. Alright, let's go over here. I got another key. I'm gonna go in this one. Tunnels. Yes. Oops. Not being very finessey in this level. Come on, get the leaves. Ah, oh, my combo. Restart. Really, 
uh, cool backgrounds in this game too. I really like the um, kind of cell shaded looking graphics and uh, the animations are really cool. I really like the animations of the leaves and the dust and stuff. How it flutters around you yeah, as you clean and whatnot. And uh, the character animations are super smooth. Just all in all, it's a really, really beautiful game, I think. Yeah! What did I get? A and B. Not terrible. But I get a silver key, huh? I need... How many more doors do I have locked down here? Two? I think. Yeah, two. So two more gold or copper keys and I can unlock What's that shimmery. Ouch. Uh oh. No, don't go down there. I thought there was some sh Oh, it's probably it's just those little dust mote things that aren't interactable. Never mind. Let's go back up here. Dash, dash, dash. Did that one. Did that one. Mezzanine. It's gonna be this guy again. I really like the old man. Makes me feel young. Missing so much dust. There we go, got that guy. faster when you're cleaning than you do just when you're uh, running around. Oh, come on. I was trying to use the uh, jump after the uh, after hitting that guy to get up to the uh, ledge. Is that me in that picture back there, sleeping in a chair, old man? Looks like it. Yeah, that totally, that's totally me. In that statue. I wonder if I was uh, playing as some of the other people, if it would be them instead. This will probably be the last level for me for tonight. Been playing a little too long tonight and need to get some sleep. Probably. I want up there. Uh oh. And this will disappear as I clean it. Do I want to go down here? I do. Dash, dash. That's what you get. Oh, I wanted to put that up here. This does. Up there, that would break my combo meter or 
kill my combo meter trying to get up there and get that. Oh, I do want to hit this though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the maids. Nice. The butler. Keep the combo going. Upwards. There we go. And that's it for that level. I guess maybe it wasn't me in the statue, it's that guy. Alright. I think that's going to do it for me for today. Uh, again, this is Dust Force. I forgot to check who the developer was before I started playing. Um, so I'll probably put it in the description. But yeah, super fun game. Uh, super fun little platforming game, as I said earlier. Pretty relaxing to play. Uh, you know, not very, not very stressful. You're not fighting bad guys all the time. You're just cleaning up, cleaning up rubble and whatnot. Cleaning up refuse. So uh, I definitely recommend it. I have had, I have a lot of fun playing it. And uh, you know, great art style, great music, great level design, really good control scheme. You know, I, I am a little surprised that uh, there's no default setup for a or default settings for using a controller. Like you have to program it in yourself. I mean, at least that's there. But uh, in this day and age, I am rather surprised that that's not just, you know, there as a prerequisite you know, by default. But still, not a big deal, you know, because as I said, you still have the option to use the Xbox controller. So I didn't need to go in here, exit the level. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.